Okay, we're back. Um, let's see. So when you do the vintage air system, you do lose some depth in your glove box. So they, they give you a, a shallow glove box to use uh, because the, the evaporator is tucked right behind that. So you lose a little bit of, of <laughs> storage space, if you will. Um, there is a center console with some crap in there right now, um, but you, I gained some of the storage space back with that. Um, there is a cable there for that's wired to the stock appearing radio. Um, that's for an MP3 player or iPod, etc. Your fact the vintage air uh, controls are here and here, as well as right there. Um, I think I mentioned it in the ad, but um, here at each. There are two outlets on each side for the AC. Um, I'm not a big fan of the center outlets because all the air goes right into the center console. So it doesn't do much for keeping you cool, but it sure keeps the center console cool. There's, it's very cool air that comes out of there. Um, shoot. There's the, the digital, or excuse me, the quartz movement clock. I had the clock, after I had the quartz movement done, I sent it to a company called Redline Instruments and sent them also a the tachometer so that they could match, perfectly match the font of the clock to the font of the gauges from autometer. Um, let's see. Uh, put some aftermarket brake and etc. pedals. It is a drive-by wire setup on the throttle, so the the bracket is mounted down underneath there. And oh, on the seats, I had. I had the seats. They are seats are out of a Pontiac Fiero. I you can see basically I had them stitched with the French stitching to match the door panels, the stock door panels. So it the line just kind of carries across from the door panels to the seats and to the other door panel. So it kind of looks like it was designed that way. Because I was trying to keep things looking fairly original. Um, there's a 14 and a half inch diameter wheel. I also have a 13 inch wheel if you want. You're welcome. I'll give that to whoever buys the car. Um, exterior wise, the only thing I really added, well, first of all, let me, I, all of the weather stripping everywhere, everywhere on the car was replaced. Anything that was chromed was re-chromed. Anything that was polished or stainless was polished. I replaced all of the window felts, uh, the window squeegees, the window track trim, everything. So all the weather stripping everywhere on the, the deck lid, the doors, the convertible top, the hard top. I'll get into that in a minute. Everything the weather stripping was replaced on. Um, close that up. I think I was getting to... The only thing I did on the outside, other than replating, you know, bumpers, etc., I did add the fuel injection logo. Um, and yeah, if, if if you have this car at a car show, you'll get people, even with the hood open, coming up and going, "Hey, is that a factory original fuelie?" And you're like, "Oh, come on, dude, really?" Anyway, um, that's that. Close the deck lid for you. Um, here is the hard top that comes with the car. All of the weather stripping on it was replaced also. There's a bunch of first place trophies that the car got for different car shows, which I'm very proud of. But I really didn't build the car for winning car shows. It was much more about having fun and tearing up autocross tracks. 
So uh, I think the next thing we'll do is take you out for a brief drive and hopefully this will all make sense to you. Thanks.